Okay, Algebra 1. Today, uh, uh, we're going to do order of operations. Yesterday, we focused uh, a little bit of it, entered it at the end of 1.1, but we're going to focus on it a little bit more today. I've got the microphone placed in a different uh, location. Hopefully, we won't have it now like we did yesterday. So, uh, Chapter 1, I hope it help on the pens. Chapter 1, Section 2, we're going to do order of operations. There. there we go. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the screencast from yesterday. Um, this will be the second one. Hopefully we, we get some, some problems that we had with it taken care of. Um, let's just talk about a little bit of the order again. We've got PEMDAS. Problems today will be just a little more intense. We're going to do parentheses first. Hopefully this is review. Again, you can stop, pause, rewind anytime you need to. Exponent. Multiply. Divide. Then we're going to add and subtract. Okay, parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, add, and subtract. Remember, this is in from what order? I'll pause for just a second if you think of that. We're going to go in order from left to right. Okay, please, please make your Sally. Parentheses, exponents, division, addition, and subtraction. And we're going to go left to right. So the, the problems are going to pick up in intensity. So let's go ahead and move on to them. We're going to start with example two, following along in the textbook. That's going to be on page 10. Example two looks something like this. First, let's identify what we have here. We've got some subtraction, we've got some division, we have some exponents, and we have some addition. So if we look at our, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, we're going to go with the exponents first. So what I need to do first is my two squared. So I will have 16 minus 8 divided by, and 2 squared is 2 to the second power, so 2 times 2 is 4. And I break down my plus 14. Now I have subtraction, I have division, and I have addition. In my, excuse my dear Aunt Sally, that puts my division first. So I'm going to have 16 minus 8 divided by 4 is going to give me 2. I'm going to add 14. And now since I have subtraction and addition, I do them at the same time from to right. So I'm going to take 16 minus 2, that's going to give me 14, plus 14, for a final answer, 28. Watch the steps. Go in order, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, always left to right. When I say left to right, it's very important in this step. When you see addition and subtraction, they're at the same time but you go from left to right, just as you would read it. Let's move on to another example. How about something like this? We have division, we have addition, 
We've got some multiplication with parentheses. We also have subtraction. So if I'm on PIMDAS, my very first one is parentheses. So I have to take care of the parentheses. So next step is going to be 4 divided by 2 plus 5. I take care of my 10 minus 6 and actually get an answer of 4. Now I have division and multiplication. Division, multiplication. Parentheses will stick by multiplication. So I go ahead and both in order from left to right. 4 divided by 2 is going to give me 2. I'm also going to add to it 5 times 4, which gives me 20. Go ahead and perform my addition. 2 plus 20. Final answer is going to be 22. Now, finally, we're really going to shake things up a little bit. We're going to perform an order of operations problem and also do some substitution. So let's look at this problem. Okay, now we're going to have to do some substitution before we work on um, the entire problem. Everywhere I see an X, I'm going to substitute 4. Everywhere I see a Y, I'm going to substitute 5. And everywhere I see a Z, I'm going to substitute 3. So let's take a look at this. That's going to be 3 times 4 squared plus 2 times 5 plus 3 to the third power. Now that I've substituted, I go ahead and take care of all my exponents. 4 to the second power is 4 times 4, which is going to give me 16. So I have 3 times 16. I'm going to go ahead and do my Multiplication, 2 times 5 is going to give me 10. And now I need to take 3 to the third power. So that's going to be 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 gives me 9. 9 times 3 gives me 27. So I now have 3 times 16, which is going to be 48. 10 plus, oops, excuse me, uh, that's a horrible plus, let's fix that. There we go. Plus 37. Okay, 48 plus 37. And I end up with an answer of 5. Eighty-five. Hope you enjoyed that. That's 1-2. Working on order of operations, substitution. We'll see you in class tomorrow.